Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to another race review. Uh, this is your boy Fresh Racing here. Uh, we had uh, uh, quite a boring ass race races at Las Vegas this weekend, and um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just it, it, it didn't really deliver as much as I wanted it to, but. Um, yeah, we we started with the Xfinity. I, I totally forgot that there was no truck race this weekend. So, I, you know, I was sitting there flipping through the channels like, where the fuck is the truck race? But there was no truck race. Um, yeah, but the Xfinity, of course, you had all the cup guys up there again. I mean, it was, it was the same shit as last weekend with the Xfinity. I mean, the... The regulars of that series have no chance anymore, it seems like. I mean, Daryl Wallace, I was pulling for him because he was the only one up there that actually had a fucking chance. But, I mean, I expected, you know, Logano or Larson or somebody to win it. Logano won it. Um... I don't know. I think I, I, I watched a, a video about Kamikaze Games. I don't know if you've never heard of him. Shout out to Kamikaze. He makes more, badass race reviews. More more badass than mine <laughs> because I just fucking started. Um, yeah, go subscribe to him. Uh, he fucking pointed out that it, it just... it The Cup guys are... It just makes the races a lot less interesting. I mean, they're not fun to fucking watch anymore. A lot of, I mean, if you're a fan of those drivers, then yeah. I mean, I'm kind of a fan of Kyle Larson, but he's in the series. He's in the Cup Series now. Why would he? I don't know. There's just no point of them like taking points away from everybody else and just taking the fun out of the series for the other drivers. I, I don't know. A lot of people might disagree with me. I mean, you're gonna. They have the every right to race in that series, and I'm glad that NASCAR actually regulated it to where they only have. I think it's what like ten races, maybe. I, I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments. But I don't know. They're just. They're not really making these cup races interesting like like everybody expected them to be but that's just my opinion so Logano won it and I mean it was just a boring ass race throughout the whole race I mean there's not really much to talk about it I wish there was I was hoping that you know the Xfinity race would deliver so I could have something to talk about but it was literally just the cup guys dominating throughout the entire race so well, let's get into the uh, the Monster Energy Cup Series. They, uh, good lord. I mean, uh, Truex, he, he dominated that whole race. I, uh, you had Kozlowski starting out on the pole. I mean, he, he led like the first like 50 laps or whatever. But um, it was it was really Truex. He showed how strong he's going to be this year. And I, I didn't expect him to get a win this early. But I'm, I'm glad he did. You know, I, I feel like Truex, oh, there's, everybody loves Truex. And he, he fucking, he deserved that win, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he just, he pulled away, really. And, uh, I mean, there wasn't really much to talk about throughout the race. Um, I remember Kevin Harvick, like, slammed into the wall because uh, he just, he had a tire going down. I think uh, Rodney Childers or somebody said that... Either he ran over something, or I have no idea really what happened. Um, and there was a lot of mysterious things that went on during that that race. We didn't really have a, a lot of like speeding penalties or anything like that. Um, I mean, uh, or a lot of people really gambling as much as I thought there would be. I, I think Jimmy Johnson was like the only one that actually tried different things, and you know was. He took. I think he would. He would stay out a couple times. He took two tires here and there, but it really didn't play out for him or anybody else who would gamble at the end of it. Um, but yeah, uh, Truex. Yeah, he he dominated the whole race. He ended up winning it. And then of course, uh, I'm sure you guys are waiting to talk to hear me talk about it. But uh, the whole thing with Logano and Kyle Busch that was <laughs> that was very interesting. Uh, I, I really don't know, you know, Kyle Busch, he gets, he's, he's just fucking hothead, and I understand that, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Tony Stewart, and he's like the biggest hothead of all the fucking drivers, but, I don't know, it, it was really racing, it was more than just, it was just a racing incident, and I feel that, I don't, I really didn't understand why Kyle Busch got mad of it, because, Kozlowski, uh, something happened to his car. Even Kislowski said he didn't know what the hell happened. He just he said he couldn't turn. But he, um, I don't know. He, he got in the way of both of them. And 
Uh, I remember, I think Kyle Busch, he just, he, he kind of pushed his car too low to get around Keselowski, and it got into Logano a little bit. And then I guess either Logano didn't like it or Logano got loose or whatever. But whenever they went around, I think it was like turn three, maybe um, they just they got it back into it. Kozlowski or excuse me, Logano went back up onto Kyle Busch and spun Kyle Busch out. And I mean, I was just shocked about it more than anything. I was like, why the hell did that happen? You know, and then I looked at the replay and I was like, oh, OK, that's just racing. But then I see Kyle Busch, you know, going after Logano, and uh, I don't know. I just I, I thought it was funny. I was kind of just sitting there laughing at the whole thing, you know. But then I, I was I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw the uh, the the actual footage. I think it was I don't know some one of the journalists or somebody of NASCAR uploaded it on Twitter, and. Uh, <laughs> Kyle Busch got a punch. Logano lied about it, and Kyle Busch got a fucking punch to his face. And I, I just think that Logano, he's he kind of bitched out of that whole situation, really. I mean, I, I personally am not a fan of either of the drivers because of, I don't know, just the way they race. But I, I think that <laughs> Kyle Busch... It, and Kyle Busch, he has got a bloody forehead at the end of it, and it makes him look like he got his ass beat, but he really didn't. He ended up fucking laying one into Logano, and then somebody pulled Logano back. So, I don't know. It was it was very fucking, it was just great to watch. I love that kind of shit, you know. Uh, Kyle Busch, uh, I didn't expect him to do that, and uh, I'm glad he did, actually, because... I love seeing, seeing that shit. I mean, I watched Tony Stewart defend him, de defend himself, and defend him. You know the way he raced, and if somebody you know did him wrong, then he would fucking go after him. And I'm finally glad to see Kyle Busch do that shit and fucking stand up for himself. But I don't know. Some people don't you know like the fucking fighting or whatever. I love that shit, but that's NASCAR, man. That's uh, I mean, I would probably get pissed, too, if somebody fucking did that shit to me on the track. I mean, it's just like every other day, you know, you're driving down the interstate, and somebody fucking cuts you off, you're going to get pissed, too. And you, I literally, every time that I, somebody does that to me, like, or when I'm driving down the road, I just literally think of those NASCAR fights, and I'm just like, maybe someday. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's that's going to that's gonna be in the end of the video here. Um, I'm glad you guys... Um, Shit, nobody's even watching my videos right now. Hopefully one day you guys will watch them. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this has been Las Vegas Race Review. I'm glad you guys watched. Uh, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Next weekend's Phoenix. Every NASCAR fan's got that one driver they love, and every NASCAR fan's got that one driver they can't stand.